let's be wary of the temptation to want to return to what was familiar and normal. Because I believe the convergence of the pandemic and the stock market crash has placed us on a path to a new normal. It's put us on a direction that we do not know where we are going. Thus, this reflection as a question. What if the adjustments that we are each being required to make right now to how we live, how we work, and how we socialize, what if those adjustments are not just for the days, the weeks, and the months ahead? What if these adjustments become our new reality, our new normal for years to come? I posit that suggestion via the question as a reflection, because there's a huge difference between getting ready for a new normal and waiting for things to return to what they used to be. And I'm, I'm afraid that if we stay stuck in waiting for things to return to what they used to be, that we're going to miss some really important critical things. And we're not going to be prepared as best we could be for whatever comes next. So here are a few things that I'm doing. There are things that I have shared with clients. There are things that I have shared with people on my email list. And you can pick and choose whatever of what I'm about to say that feels right for you. The first thing is to acknowledge what you can't control and focus more on what you can. That's one. Two, take extra care of yourself. Yes, put the mask on yourself first. And that, you know, it, it can be from the smallest thing to a big, large thing. I don't know. You determine what that may look like for you. But just don't um, forget to take care of you. The third thing is to recognize that there's a huge difference between a delay and a detour. Um, and figure out how are you going to handle the delay or the detour, if it's somebody else that is deciding that for you. 